Hello friends and colleagues, I'm Stanislav Chernonog, the author and creator of the Vector Massage and Somatics School, and today we continue the video about oils. This is the second video in a series about oils. In the previous video we told you what parameters of oils you should look at in order to choose your ideal oil, in order to choose the oil that is ideal for the patient. In addition, I explained why I work with olive oil, and what is my favourite oil and what difficulties there are with it. If you have not watched it, then the link will be in the description, be sure to check it out, there are a lot of interesting things there. And in this video we will look at the second list of the oils that I use. There are interesting ones, for example I really love wheat germ oil, mango oil, we have laurel oil and it's very interesting. I came across it for the first time and I liked it, it is ambiguous but interesting. In addition, at the end of this video we will tell you which oils you should not work with and why. List of prohibited oils for massage Today's list of oils opens with wheat germ oil. I absolutely love this oil. For me, it is in the top 5 or 7 best oils. It has its side effects, it clogs pores to an exceptionally high degree. The degree of comedogenicity is 5 out of 5 possible. However, this oil is extremely rich in vitamins and minerals due to the fact that it is made from wheat germ. That is, wheat is germinated and oil is pressed from it. The amount of vitamins here is enormous. It has excellent viscosity properties, it is quite plastic and most importantly it has exceptionally high fat burning, anti-inflammatory and anti-coagulant components. Thus if you want to lose weight, if you have difficulty in clogging blood vessels, if you want to rejuvenate the skin, then wheat germ oil is for you. It is wonderfully smeared, it is well absorbed into the fabric and accordingly I can recommend it to you especially if the patient has a low degree of clogging of the pores. It is used almost everywhere in anti-stretch marks, lip balms. It is good for an extremely wide range of body work. This oil matches my favourite parameters. On the one hand it is quite viscous, on the other hand you can work on it very superficially. This is a broad spectrum oil. You can do any work on the body on it very deeply and very superficially. Work through stroking or work on deep fascia, sport, anti-cellulite. Therapeutic massage, everything will be good with it. The cost of this oil is quite average. It is indicated for skin problems, for problems with skin tone, with cellulite. You can use it as an extra. Focus more on cosmetic procedures with this oil. I use it periodically. I can't say that I love it very much, as well as the next oil. The next oil will be mustard oil. It has good anti-aging components, not a very high comedogenicity coefficient, 2 out of 5. Good for working with the reproductive system. Its remarkable property is that it is hypoallergenic. Cruciferous plants in general rarely have a high degree of allergenicity. To the touch it is quite light, better for superficial massage, but some things can be done deeply. It slides just fine, will require high qualifications for deep work. The chemical composition of mustard oil is a real storehouse of vitamins and minerals. It is rare to find an oil so rich in nutrients, valuable substances for the body. Our skin absorbs certain elements well. Of course it cannot be said that you have been anointed with oil and your balance of vitamins has been restored. But if we are talking about the skin, then the skin is nourished through the surface and this is a good, effective way to support your skin or support your patient's skin in case the patient is aging. If a woman after childbirth has stretch marks, has problems with dry skin, this oil is ideal for solving these problems. Great for healing wounds, but be careful, the use of this oil on children is not recommended. A complete list of vitamins and valuable substances that make up this oil you can now see on the screen. This oil is inexpensive and affordable in Russia, but in some countries such as the United States it is prohibited for use by WHO. And we are moving on. Our next oil is cedar oil. I came across this oil for the first time today and it will probably be on my list of favourites in the future. Because it is quite thick, it feels very good in the hands and it has a warming effect which is unexpected. Cedar oil was a surprise for me. We received a large package of oils and now I put it directly on my hand and feel that I like it. Cedar oil rocks. It gives a very deep context with the patient's body, I just feel like I go very deep with this oil. I love the warm feeling that comes from it. I will add cedar oil to my list and will definitely have this oil in my massage parlour. 
If we talk about the list of useful properties of this oil, it is much easier to list those properties that this oil does not have, in which it is not useful, than to list this huge list of those characteristics that this oil has. It helps the skin, it protects against bacteria, cleanses, promotes exfoliation of all skin, nourishes it in a variety of ways, and is used for allergic reactions. Everything that we know useful about oils can practically be applied to seed and nut oil. Moreover, this oil works great against flu and sore throats when used as an inhalation. But as you know, you have to pay for all good things. And this oil is extremely expensive. Be careful, it is often diluted with cheaper oils, such as sunflower. And sunflower oil is on the list that we do not recommend for use on the skin. We move on. The next oil is Georgia oil. I like this oil. It is exceptionally pleasant to the touch. I recommend it for working with surfaces, tissues and lymphatic drainage massage. Very relaxing, very gentle, very delicate and the oil is good for loose skin as it improves elasticity. In fact, this oil is included in most preparations that are focused on beauty. Jojoba oil can be used for anti-cellulite work and anti-aging programs and to improve the appearance of the skin. Exfoliating, nourishing. Again, returning to the topic that you have to pay extremely for good oil because of this it is often diluted. Be careful, the oil has a pleasant, subtle aroma. If you want to pamper the patient with a gentle, delicate procedure, if you want the patient to relax, if you want the person to enjoy the session, I recommend jojoba oil to you. It's wonderful. One of the great things about this oil is that you can store it for a very long time. It can be stored for many years and does not deteriorate. Therefore, you can buy a small amount of this oil and use it for highly valuable clients or for clients who need relaxation, comfort and want the feeling of an expensive and high quality procedure from your massage. And we are moving on. The next oil will be cumin oil. An extremely beneficial oil. I recommend it, for example, it is taken orally to improve the functioning of the digestive system. It contains a large amount of nutrients, vitamins and minerals. However, it has relatively high comedogenicity, 2 out of 5. I like it to the touch, it works well in it, however, be careful with the smell. Not everyone likes the smell. Separately, I want to talk about black cumin oil, an exceptional healing product. But make sure you and your client are comfortable with the smell. If you like it, then this very good oil is recommended for use. It will not suit everyone, but nevertheless, if it does, then the client will be grateful to you for using this oil. It has a fairly standard set of positive qualities. Anti-aging effect, tone improvement, moisturizing effect. I would emphasize in our case with you the antifungal effect of this oil. That is, if a person has problems with a fungus on one's feet, the cumin oil will be extremely recommended for such patients. As is often the case with oils, they are commonly sold in plants. Look for places where you can buy this oil undiluted. Choose trusted manufacturers of this oil. Be aware that the smell of this oil is quite pungent. For example, I love the smell of cumin, but many patients do not speak very well of it. Therefore, before using it, ask the patient how much the one likes this smell. The next oil we will look at is macadamia. What can we say about this oil? It is quite common, has the following properties, slows down aging, helps with wrinkles. Interesting in terms of plasticity, one of the popular massage oils. As a rule, it is not used in its pure form. It is used in the form of cosmetic preparations, in the form of creams. However, the oil is light to the touch, glides well, also has warming properties, it is pleasant to work on the body with it. This oil has a very fine and delicate texture indeed. I haven't used it for a long time and again, if we talk about macadamia, then I'm probably glad that now I have it in my set of standard oils. This video is wonderful in terms of the fact that I can look at a large number of oils at the same time and can compare them. Here is macadamia. It turns out to be an oil that I used to underestimate and in the future I will strive to use it more and more. I like it for the texture and the feeling it evokes in the hands. How to work with it? It should be noted that it has a very faint smell. It is a subtle, pleasant aroma. And the best thing about this oil is that it is relatively cheap, goes to Nepal with apricot and almond and is available in many stores. Many networks offer this oil in good quality. Stanislav Chernonog recommends the use of macadamia oil in massage practices. 
The next show that we will show you about in this video is Lipo Complex. This is the only animal oil among those that we are considering in these two videos. This is chicken oil, chicken fats. Mainly used to work on the skin of the face. What an interesting feeling, there is some smell, the light oil is good for superficial movements on the skin. Fingers do not stick in it, so it is convenient and good to use for the body parts that are not recommended to be moved, face and decollete area. Many may be repulsed by the fact that this is animal oil. However, you must understand that animals are closer to people than plants. Therefore, the substances contained in this oil are extremely useful for human skin, are easily absorbed into the skin and are used by human skin cells as a nutrient. Heals skin well, works against dryness, works with wrinkles, nourishes the skin. After you work at this oil, the skin acquires a silky texture and a pleasant colour. A little life hack. This oil is recommended for use with children. Protects the skin from harming, softens the effect of hard water. In addition, it has excellent anti edematous properties. Whoever has swelling in the face, take note of the good properties of this oil. Works well with swelling, it's low allergenic. I recommend it for use. The problem with this oil is that it's not very common, it's moderately expensive, it's not easy to get, so you'll have to pay attention to it, in order to get it in your oil kit that you use in your office. And finally we move on to laurel oil, and it's the first time I came across it. It has a rather interesting look, it is green, it has the brightest, most pronounced smell of all the oils that we have used so far. It is hard, it is very elastic, not tight, and it has warming properties. I think it should be used for aromatherapy purposes. It is invigorating quite distinctly. The moment I put it on my hands, I got more energized. Known properties of laurels are healing. Larvae is used as a biological additive, the antimicrobial effect of laurel. The well-known laurel has a very good effect on the condition of the kidneys, helps against swelling, helps to change the functioning of the lymphatic system. I also like the very valuable and useful laurel plant and the oil from it. Recommended for use in cold, wet seasons when there is steam heating. Promotes skin hydration, promotes healing of micro cracks. Everything that we have in winter, laurel oil is suitable for all these. Warms, heals, moisturizes. Moreover, it relieves pain and stimulates hair growth. On the body, this is not always good, but you can use it for the scalp. Quite expensive oil in Russia, as this is not very common here. But in Turkey and Egypt, there is a lot of it and the prices there are quite reasonable. And we complete our today's selection with mango oil. What can be said about it? It is again solid and therefore initially when you use it on a person, you will have a tight, slow and deep work. Recommended for deep, crimping effects. There is no distinctly pronounced smell, absolutely non-comedogenic, not very common, costs a lot of money, but good for slow, deep work. Very relaxing, recommended for cosmetic use, rejuvenates the skin, works with wrinkles, improves skin toggle, works with metabolism, recommended in anticellulite work, good, interesting and high quality oil, moreover it has antioxidant and wound healing properties. Right now I feel like I'm allergic to it, it happens with oils, some mango oils I worked with I wasn't allergic to at the moment, but now I just feel like my mucous membranes swell and this happens pretty quickly. In terms of content, we were really lucky because we didn't plan on having an allergy attack on the main speaker, but it happened. The level of my sensitivity to allergies is quite high. I constantly monitor these, so I recommend you when buying a new oil for yourself and moreover if you are using something exotic for the first time with this patient, apply a small amount of oil on the skin, see how the patient reacts, because the last thing you want to have in sessions is an allergic attack. And now in conclusion, let's talk about oils that are highly discovered when used in massage sessions. First of all, these are synthetic oils. Johnson's baby oil is absolutely terrible for a massage. When I started my career as a massage therapist, people were constantly buying this oil, offering me to work on it, and I remember how disgusted I was with this oil. It is at the same time liquid, it is not stiff, its viscosity is low, and at the same time, every time you start to slide on it, it does not give a normal glide. Moreover, it clogs pores extremely strongly and does not carry any beneficial properties except softening the skin. The next oil that I do not recommend you use, from time to time I happen to use sunflower oil. It again has a low viscosity and at the same time the hand gets stuck on it. 
Moreover, it does not work very well on the skin, so I do not recommend using sunflower oil. In some cases, you suddenly find yourself alone with the patient and you have no oil other than sunflower and butter, and when all the oils that you have in direct access, it is better to choose, of course, butter, but it has a distinct smell, it clogs pores a lot. In addition, it promotes the growth of bacteria on your skin or on the skin of your patient. Therefore, use butter only if you have nothing to work with at all. It is better to work without oil than to work with synthetic oils, sunflower or butter. If I haven't mentioned oils that you like, that you consider useful, significant specifically for massage work and not for cosmetic work, be sure to write about it in the comments. And with you was Stanislav Chernonok, the author of the channel Vector Massage and Somatics, a channel where we teach you how to massage and earn decent money from it. See you in the next video, friends. Goodbye.